What it do every day, people, man. It's your boy, PJ. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to every video. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. What it do every day, people, man. It's your boy, PJ. Today, I got a wonderful, exciting video for you guys. I'm going to tell you guys how to eliminate credit card debt. Okay, yes. Eliminating credit card debt is a problem for a lot of people, especially myself or my older self. Okay, to eliminate credit card debt, it's very simple. You pay your credit card, right? That sounds simple, but most of us, the reason why we got into credit card debt is because our inability to make extra money to provide for the things that we need. So we use our credit cards for emergencies when actually we should have an emergency stash but we're not all there so mm. that just brings me to point number one to pay off credit card debt in order to pay off credit card debt first you have to make extra money okay i mean that's simple okay you may have to work overtime you may have to get a second job most people now, in 2021 and 2020, most people started a home-based business. That means selling t-shirts, making postcards or, or, or business cards, or designing shoes, clothes, selling merchandise, starting a YouTube channel, anything to create extra income, okay? Now, one thing I want to tell you about creating the extra income, let's, let's start with YouTube because I got into YouTube uh just over a year ago about a year and a half ago and it's starting to generate money okay so when you start to generate money understand that that money can be consecutive if you keep it up that's just like with anything so if you decide to start a business selling hats i'm gonna tell you about a business i started selling hats okay i was buying the hats for four dollars i was selling them for 20. i was doing that over the weekend so it's generating money on weekends and that was where my extra income came from okay so you have to generate extra income okay so uh and when you do youtube you know you're gonna get that money in you keep it up the more you go the more it works your money start to grow and that is how you uh pay off extra credit card debts by generating extra income okay very simple that is a, that is one of the number one rules to paying off credit card debt make extra money uh number two If you want to pay off credit card debt, stop using your cards, okay? Take a look at your credit cards. Now, how many cash cards do you have? How many cards that you have specifically to one store? Like if you have a Lowe's card or a Home Depot card or a Walmart card. So those are store specific or Route 21, store specific cards. You can't use these cards anywhere else. So stop using them, okay? You gotta stop using them all together. Okay, pay them off. Once you stop using those, only focus on your cash cards. Well, cash cards, you can pay bills with, okay? So this is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to pay off enough money to cover all your bills for the month on one credit card, okay? Pay it off, okay? Then, as you start to pay all your other credit cards off use that one credit card to pay all your bills and just pay it back every time so then you're revolving this money using this one cash card paying all your bills you have to pay your bills anyway you're basically putting in rotation this money that you have you're basically putting it in rotation okay that money is going to stay in rotation while you try to pay off all your credit card debt okay while you do this that eliminates one credit card payment okay one credit card payment you're making this payment every month so that eliminates that payment every month it eliminates a lot of interest you'll pay for this month every time okay so while you have that now you can pay out you can start snowballing your store credit cards like your home depot your Lowe's, your walmart you can start snowballing those 
And while you snowball those and you don't use those, you're using this one credit card. Now this one credit card, they see you got a lot of use. They start to boost your credit score and they also offer you more money to pay more bills. You can take the money, you can take the credit, okay? But don't spend more money. Just continue the cycle, okay? Keep that working, you'll pay the credit cards off, okay? And my third way to eliminate credit card debt. Okay? Third way to eliminate credit card debt is, you guessed it, the snowball method. I've already talked about this in several different videos. The snowball method, where you could use either um, the highest credit debt or the highest interest. Or you can use a combination of the two, however you like. Okay, the snowball method, I have a template, basically gives you an overview of where your debt stands and your monthly cost, and it keeps a schedule. So you can have a, a general timeline of when your debt shall be paid, okay? Now, the snowball method only works if you don't use your credit cards, okay? It only works, it still works, regardless if you use your credit cards or not, but you don't pay off your debt. So technically, it doesn't work the way you intend it to work, okay? So using the snowball method, is highly effective, but you have to make extra income. Okay, see how all this goes back to rule number one, making extra income. Okay, stop using your credit cards and using the snowball method. Three ways to eliminate credit card debt. Now, this can be done in little as a as little as a year. Okay, but most credit card debt we want to uh, eliminate in less than three years because this saves you over. 150% in interest, like I mean a lot of interest if you pay it off in three years, rather as if you just continue to minimum for a total of 10 years. Like think about this, if you owe $300 on a credit card, a credit card company does not want you to pay it off within a year. They will give you a credit card, they will give you a schedule which with a minimum payment that they will try to give you the minimum payment for 10 years. They will. If you owe $300, that $300 payment will turn to $600-$700 or $750 if you pay it over 10 years. Okay? So their minimum payments will be like six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10, whatever it will be to stretch you out so you pay that for 10 years. Okay? So... There you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. And today, man, I just want to tell y'all that I got the solution for your problem. Maybe the grandmother's about to pass and uh, Uncle Kenneth, man, is a crackhead and you don't want him to sell the house and smoke up all the profits before you get to split it with the family. You know what? Give me a call. If you got a home that is good, bad, ugly, and different, raggedy, broke down, garage don't work, dishwasher don't work, anything don't work, paint don't work. If you don't work and you need to get rid of this house, how about you give me a call at 405-759-0038.